Good morning, it's the 25th day of October 2024 from the kitchen table. I'm going to look at the hate speech bill and go through a bit of it for you. I have a problem with the window behind causing a bit of glare. We just have to do it the best we can. Now, the bill is passed. Both houses of the Oroctus have passed it. No, no delay or nothing else. So I want to go through a little bit of it with you and give you a bit of a flavour of what is in this act, which is now the law. So now it says it's an act to provide for certain offences aggravated by hatred in the Criminal Damage Act 1991, the Criminal Justice Public Order Act 1994 and the Non-Fatal Offences Against the Person Act for that purpose to provide for amendments for those and other enactments. Now, essentially, these are already crimes. All of these things are crimes. So what this act is doing is it's making it a, a more serious crime for people who are of a protected status and the rest of us in the community can go to hell because the guards are not investigating crime where ordinary Irish people are concerned, okay? Now, protected characteristics under Section 3 are race, colour, nationality. Uh, does it include Ireland? What about being an Irish person? No. Religion. Nation, national and ethnic origin, descent, D-E-S-E-N-T, -E what's descent? Gender, sex characteristics, sexual orientation and disability. Now this question of descent, what is it? So subsection two, reference to descent include references to persons or groups of persons who descend, descend, D-E-S-C-E-N-D, -E -E from persons who could be identified with certain characteristics, such as race or colour, but not necessarily all of those characteristics still exist. Now, this is waffle. This is an attempt to do the very same as they did in the mother, women in the home referendum and the marriage referendum. Fill it full of mumbo jumbo so that none of us know how a court will follow, follow through if we're prosecuted. I'll read this again. I can't, I never heard of this word, D-E-S-C-E-N-T. I heard of it, but I never heard it in law. So references to descent includes references to person or groups of persons who descend, descend. What does that mean? Would someone underneath comment what descend means? So according to the dictionary here online, descend means to move or fall downwards. Descend the stairs, yeah? On a road, path or straight of steps, slope or lead downwards. Descend. To go or come down. Okay. Uh, certain great people ascended into heaven. This is descended. So I'll read descend again. References to descent include references to persons or groups of persons who descend from persons who could be identified by certain characteristics such as race or colour. So clearly... They're trying to include in this a person whose great-grandfather was something or other. So they're not only protecting those who are of these genders and all this stuff and these races, they're defend, descending those whose great-grandfathers were those. So how is the citizen going to know who they are when they come from Timbuktu? Have I enough said there? Now let's look now uh, um, gender. Gender means the gender of a person or the gender which a person expresses as a person preferred gender. So it's not what they look like or what they have uh, in, in, in their body. It's what they want to be. Or, which, or with which the person identifies and includes transgender or gender other than those of male and female. So this puts Enoch Burke firmly in jail for the rest of his life and all teachers and guardy who don't want to go along with this. This is what people, and some of them are going to vote for Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael and Sinn Féin in the election. That's what they are talking about. Gender. So, uh, 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 your woman... Um, Sharon Kogan read out in the Iraq that there are 72 genders. There are 70 outside male and female. So here we are now, we have to spend our lives going around wondering, oh, what gender? Oh, there's a woman. Oh, hello, miss. I'm not a miss. I'm mister. 
This is what they've written into it, okay? Sexually orientated has the same meaning as in section 21 of the Equality Equal Status Act. S reference to sex characteristics shall be construed as reference to the physical or biological fe features of the person relating to sex. So reference to sex characteristics, this is different from the sex. So now you have two things to think about shall be construed as references to physical and biological feature of the person relating to sex. So if they have a man's body or a woman's body, you have to take that into account. But then when you go to gender, you have to take in what they want to be. So you have two things. And what happens if they're obviously females, they have the female body, they have breasts, they have all the female reproductive organs, and they say, I'm a man. How is the ordinary person supposed to know what they are? Okay. Now, in, uh, in, sec in part two, the Criminal Damage Act. So this is where you commit criminal damage, like breaking or hitting someone or damaging property, but it's motivated by hate. So if they do it because they're not motivated by hate against an, an Irish person, they're on a lower tier of law. These people have a higher superior tier, tier of law. We pay the taxes for law enforcement and these get it and we don't. So now, in the section, the Act of 2004 means this particular act. Hatred has the meaning it has in section 2 of the Act of 2024. So let's see what hatred means. So what is hatred? Hatred means hatred. Hatred means hatred against a person or group of persons in the state or elsewhere on account of their characteristics or any one of those characteristics. So it cannot be hatred against an Irish person or a British person. So that's what hatred means. So hatred means hatred. Where is the definition of hatred? Let's see what the dictionary says. So it says in the dictionary, it's intense dislike, dislike, intense dislike or hate. So who defines what's intense? So section 2A, damaging property otherwise than by, than by, or by aggravated hatred. So here now, if it's, if it's damaging property by this aggravated hatred, it's an offence. What about somebody who comes in and damages your property or burns your house? Oh, that's all right. Huh? So the penalties are a class B fine or imprisonment for a term not exceeding 12 months. So a fella can come from Timbuktu, stick his tongue out at you, and you make any remark against him, and you get a year in prison. On conviction in the circuit court, it's... Uh, it's sect two per it's a uh, fence uh, on this section, not imprisonment or both. Wait now. It's a fine or imprisonment for life. They'll do life imprisonment. Same as murder. In the case of an offence under section two that the person commits is an offence other than one referred to above, to a fine of imprisonment not exceeding twelve years or both. So they are coming the hound on the Irish people big time. Big time. So section six deal, section, uh, section uh, six, I think it is here, subsection six. Yeah, it deals with uh, public order. So where the public order is, is due to hate. Only where they say it's due to hate. So they're putting the motive. It's not the fact that you commit public order. You could break every wind in the place and burn four or five cars down or attack the guards. But if it's for this reason, it's a different offence altogether. Two-tier policing. Threatening, abusive or insulting behaviour in public place. So what is insulting? A person shall be guilty of an offence if he or she commits an offence under Section 6 which is aggravated by hatred or purposes. So it's extra if there's hatred involved You can't where, the, where if someone is insulted. A person who is guilty of an offence under this shall be liable to the, have the fines I've already told you. This distribution or display of public place of material which is threatening, abusive, insulting or obscene. That was already the law. 
That was already the law. So again, all the penalties. That's all dealing with the penalties. Now, so so um, entering entering a building with intent to commit an offence of aggravated hatred. So if you enter a building where it's intent to do this, so they're taking the existing law that they're not enforcing and not investigating and giving a privilege to migrants coming in off the boat. They can burn their passports, dump them down the, the loo in, the, in, in Ryanair, and they benefit from this the moment they step off the plane, in most cases. So then it goes on to take all the criminal offences and aggravate them and amend it to give a higher penalty, a more serious penalty, to this. That is hatred by our government against our people. So, again, assault aggravated by hatred, that's already a crime. Assault causing harm aggravated by hatred. Assault causing harm aggravated by hatred. So that's an admission that the existing law doesn't work. Threaten to kill or cause serious harm aggravated by hatred. So there you are. There's two-tier policing. Coercion aggravated by hatred. And they can't even define hatred. How are they going to prove? If the person doesn't open his mouth and he breaks into the house of a recent migrant and robs it and puts it on fire, if he doesn't open his mouth and says, I oh, know, I just wanted to, yeah, I needed a television and I was smoking and sure I fell asleep. Anyone that would admit that they did this for, for, uh, to, for some type of anti anti-woke carry on is a fool so how are they going to prove it was hatred how are they going to show it was hatred now I need to say no more or second class citizens in our own country they're on the way to make us a minority in their own country and the next thing I hope to do is do a video now and get it out with of who voted for this good luck comment underneath this is unbelievable that they are turning our government is turning against the people the law should be the law for everybody good bad or indifferent but it's not and this is an admission that we are becoming second-class citizens in our own country comment underneath thank you